CACFP sites must make reasonable modifications for disabilities. A disability includes any physical or mental impairment that limits one or more major life activities, such as food allergies, diabetes, or swallowing difficulties. These modifications may pertain to the meal or to the meal service. For example, you may need to offer a different food or serve the food in a different way. Even if a participant takes medication or uses an assistive device, the CACFP site must make modifications for the disability. In many cases, you can modify meals to meet a participant's needs within the meal pattern requirements. For example, if a participant cannot eat strawberries, you can easily serve a different fruit instead and still meet meal pattern requirements. In cases when you can still meet the meal pattern requirements with the substituted food, obtaining a note from the parent or guardian is all that's needed. A medical statement is not required. In other cases, you may not be able to modify meals to meet a participant's needs within the meal pattern requirements. For example, if a participant cannot eat any fruit, then you would not always be able to meet meal pattern requirements. In cases when you cannot meet meal pattern requirements with the requested food substitution, then you must obtain a signed medical statement and keep it on file at your CACFP site. Programs must provide reasonable modifications to meals and snacks or to the meal service itself to accommodate participants with disabilities. These modifications are done on a case-by-case -case basis. If the meal modification required does not meet the meal pattern requirements, then a medical statement from a licensed physician, a registered dietitian, or a licensed healthcare professional who is authorized to write medical prescriptions under state law must be provided. Meals that do not meet CACFP meal pattern requirements are not eligible for reimbursement unless they are supported by a medical statement. The medical statement should include a description of the participant's disability so that you understand how it restricts their diet. The statement should also describe what must be done to accommodate the disability. This may include what foods should not be served and recommendations for what should be served instead. The medical statement could be a note from the doctor's office, or the doctor can complete the diet modification form on the screen. The medical statement is required to justify reimbursement for the modified meal. This statement should be kept on file at the center. If there is a note on file signed by a medical professional, then you must provide the substitution. You are encouraged to accommodate a non-disability related special dietary need that is not supported by a medical statement if the modification requested can be made within the meal pattern requirements. An example of this would be if a parent or guardian told you that a participant cannot eat bananas. Bananas can be easily replaced by another fruit to meet meal pattern requirements. Modified meals that meet the meal pattern requirements are reimbursable without a written medical statement. However, you should have a note from the parent on file so that state agency or USDA staff know why the participant is receiving something different from everyone else and so there is no appearance of any discrimination. Remember that the medical statement for modifications due to food allergies must include the foods to be avoided and what to serve instead, and a brief explanation of how exposure to the food affects the participants.